up guys, Alec on Carrie here. I thought I would change up the pattern this week and do an informative video right from the get-go. Gotta keep you guys on your toes. Today, I wanna talk about pre-workout supplements. Another famous YouTuber has recently cashed in by releasing his own research-backed pre-workout formula. And it seems like everyone these days is falling victim to the pre-workout scam. So, I feel like it's time for me to speak up. Now, I'm not going to address the efficacy of any of the commonly used ingredients in these pre-workout formulas. Some of them have noticeable effects and some of them don't, but their effectiveness really isn't the primary issue here. Instead, I want to plea to you guys from an economic perspective. So let's talk about money. I'm not going to name any names, but the product I based my analysis on for this video is a very popular pre-workout. It's one that you all know. I chose to look at one specific product here so I can make specific points regarding particular ingredients and the amounts of those ingredients found in the product. But in my experience, I could have chosen any product and the result of my analysis would have been the same. So don't get hung up on trying to determine which particular product I'm referring to here because that part is inconsequential. They all follow the same basic framework. Back to the main point now, and that's cost and why you shouldn't waste your money on these products because they're nothing more than minuscule amounts of multiple cheap ingredients thrown into a bucket with some artificial sweetener and marked up in price by hundreds of percentage points. The product I looked at contains five applicable ingredients. They are caffeine, arginine, creatine, beta alanine, and L-tyrosine. Each serving contains a measly 150 milligrams of caffeine, a single pointless gram of arginine, a single pointless gram of creatine, an underdosed one and a half grams of beta alanine, and lastly, an undisclosed amount of L-tyrosine. Let's go through this bit by bit, shall we? My first issue is with the caffeine content. In spite of the fact that they're gonna try to sell you on all those B vitamins having some sort of magical effect on energy levels, this is the only real stimulant found in the product. And frankly, if you drink even just a couple cups of coffee a day, 150 milligrams of caffeine is barely gonna provide you with a tickle before your workout. And with only 30 scoops per bottle, that means there are less than five grams of total caffeine in the entire tub in a product which retails for $30 per tub. Contrast this with caffeine pills, which can be bought in bottles that contain 20 total grams of caffeine for less than $5. That's four times the amount of caffeine for one-sixth of the price. Thus, an amount of caffeine comparable to what's found in this entire tub can literally be purchased for just over a dollar. Moving on to the arginine. This product contains one gram of arginine per serving. Never mind the fact that arginine is notorious for its poor absorption rate, and you would need to ingest at least three to six times this much arginine for it to possibly have any effect. Though, if you tried to do that by taking three or more scoops of the pre-workout product, you'd probably overdose on caffeine at that point. Not to mention the fact that if you somehow survived that idiocy, the $30 tub of powder would only last you for a few days. Or, you could purchase 500 grams of pure arginine powder for around $20 and actually take an effective amount of the product. If we do the math here, we can extrapolate that arginine powder can be purchased for roughly four cents a gram. And with only 30 total grams of arginine in this tub of pre-workout, that means it contains only about $1.20 worth of total arginine. It's a similar story with the creatine. Each scoop contains just one gram of creatine, but the accepted maintenance dosage for creatine is five grams per day. So not only is it so highly underdosed per serving that it's basically worthless, but the entire product contains only 30 total grams of creatine. That's not even a week's worth of creatine during a maintenance phase, and it's only a day and a half's worth during the loading phase. You can purchase 1,000 grams of pure creatine monohydrate for 20 bucks, meaning the shit costs two cents a gram. Two fucking cents per gram. That means this entire tub of pre-workout contains only 60 cents worth of creatine. Next, we move on to the beta alanine. With one and a half grams per scoop, this ingredient probably comes the closest to containing a generally recognized as effective dose. And yet, it still falls short of the mark by anywhere from one to three grams per scoop. Pure beta alanine powder can be purchased for roughly $30 per 1,000 grams, giving it a value of roughly three cents per gram. 
with less than 50 grams of beta alanine found in the entire tub, this pre-workout contains a whopping dollar and 50 cents worth of beta alanine. So we're getting real high class now, I guess. Lastly, let's take a look at the L-tyrosine content. The thing about this ingredient is, it's part of their proprietary blend. This is just a bullshit term that allows companies to mix a bunch of shit together and not have to disclose the actual amount of each ingredient that are found in the product, but rather just disclose the total milligram amount of every ingredient contained within the proprietary blend. So I can't even tell you how much tyrosine is contained in the product. All I can tell you is that the proprietary blend contains 425 milligrams split between four different ingredients. Now, the caffeine is part of the proprietary blend, which is the way it's always done, but I assume that in the US, it must be law that products that contain caffeine must disclose the actual amount of caffeine per serving, because the caffeine content is always disclosed in these products and in energy drink type products as well. So from here, we know that there are four ingredients totaling 425 milligrams contained in the proprietary blend. And we know that there are 150 milligrams of caffeine per serving, which means that the remaining three ingredients in the proprietary blend can only total 275 milligrams worth of product. Considering that a standard dose of L-tyrosine tends to be anywhere from two to four times this amount, I think we can safely conclude that this ingredient is underdosed to the point of being worthless as well. For the sake of approximating some hard numbers, let's assume that the remaining three ingredients in the proprietary blend are split up relatively evenly, and just assume that there are about 100 milligrams of L-tyrosine per serving, and therefore roughly three grams of L-tyrosine in the entire tub. 1,000 grams of L-tyrosine can be purchased for $30, or roughly three cents per gram, meaning the entire product doesn't even contain a dime's worth of L-tyrosine. So let's take a look at what we've got so far. Our product X here contains five ingredients that may actually have some value. They are caffeine, arginine, creatine, beta alanine, and L-tyrosine. The whole product contains $1.13 worth of caffeine, $1.20 worth of arginine, 60 cents worth of creatine, $1.50 worth of beta alanine, and lastly, approximately 10 cents worth of L-tyrosine. The total worth of all these ingredients is $4.53. With the cost of the plastic and the other worthless shit they threw in there, let's assume it cost them $5 per tub. They then turn around and sell that same tub for $30. That's a 500% markup on a product that doesn't even contain effective amounts of any of the active ingredients. That's a scam, people. Why on earth would you support that? And this doesn't even factor in the fact that I'm looking at normal prices for these ingredients. These motherfuckers are purchasing that shit in bulk. In reality, it probably costs them less than half that to actually make a tub of this stuff. If we were to build this product ourselves, not only could we double the caffeine content, quadruple the arginine, add five times the creatine, almost triple the beta alanine, and add 20 times the L-tyrosine, bringing all these doses into the effective range, but we could also reduce the price from $1 per serving down to $0.52 cents per serving. If we extrapolate these numbers out into a 30 serving tub, it would cost us just over $15 to build our own tub of pre-workout that actually contains effective doses of the active ingredients. Not bad considering that this product retails for $30, but in reality only contains $5 worth of active ingredients. The fact that it would cost us about three times as much money to replicate this product as it does for them to produce it also shows you just how highly underdosed it is. Throw all this stuff into a little bit of crystal light and you're good to go. Or you can be a man and just start drinking some good old fashioned black coffee before you train. That's what the Bulgarians did and that's what the Bugs does and that's good enough for me. Seriously though, it's time to stop supporting this nonsense. As a kid, I wasted thousands of dollars on supplements, and I wish I could go back in time and slap myself in the face. I would have been better off using that money to buy more food, better barbells, or even a more comfortable mattress. I probably would have gotten the gains I was so desperate for if I'd improved my sleep quality. And honestly, there are only maybe a handful of supplements that are even worth dabbling with. 
Do your research first. And if you insist on using them, just buy the raw powders. They're all cheap as hell and can be bought in large quantities. They may taste like ass, but that only matters if you're a prick. But seriously, stop paying people a 500% markup for flavored mountain dextrin, a bunch of B vitamins, and a few worthless sprinkles of the actual supplements. You've now been educated, so you no longer have an excuse. Anyway, that's all I got for now, guys. Please be sure to like the video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and definitely leave me some love in the comments down below. Other than that, if you enjoy the content I produce, Please, share your favorite stuff somewhere, and together, let's make Forest of Wolves Gym one of the biggest fitness channels on YouTube. Keep training hard, and I will catch you guys next time.